Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Exynos Trade App for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you actually start using Exynos Mobile Trading uh, App here? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty simple, especially on the mobile app version. Now, in this case, uh, what is the first thing that you'll see here whenever you open up the app itself? So the first section that you'll see here is the account section. Now the account section, this is where you'll be able to start managing your account. So maybe you want to use your actual account or a demo account, which is a great way for you to start uh, basically learning on how to start trading. In this case, at the uh, main UI here, as you can see at the very top, you should have your account number. Also, whenever, whenever you click on it, you have the capabilities of switching over to your real account, which in this case, your account that actually contains money. So in this case, the real account here contains actual money, but if you want to try uh, trading first and maybe you want to test how things is going to turn out if you do this specific uh, type of trading, well, you could actually use the demo account here. So in this case, uh, we'll be using the demo account later on whenever I show you on how to access a few things here. So in this case, you could just basically uh, switch over to either your real account or your demo account here. In this case, uh, you also have the following options. You have the deposit, withdraw, history and details now deposit from the name itself you have the capabilities of actually depositing money into your account now the payment methods or the methods of actually cashing in or depositing our funds into your account depends on your current location now depending on where you're currently located the options that will appear on your screen will be different like for example, uh, since uh, my account is located in the Philippines, it's going to have Gcash available on it uh, in my account. So in this case, you might also that the unavailable uh, option or the unavailable option here actually appears whenever you're trying to deposit. Because right now, you are actually required to verify yourself first before you'll be able to start depositing money. Now in this case, uh, I'll be showing you where to visit, uh, how to actually verify yourself. Now also, we have the withdrawal window here which includes a way for you to actually withdraw money from your account. So for example, you've earned a significant amount and you want to uh, actually use that specific amount in real life, you could actually use the Gcash, NetSeller. So again, depending on where you're currently located, the options for you to uh, withdraw money would actually be dependent on that. Also, we have history here. So from the name itself, you'll be able to see your transaction history or any uh, transaction that you did in the last uh, 30 days. So you can even change this to the last seven days, three days or whatever here. So depending on what you want to actually see. Now, also, we have details here, which includes the details about your account. So that includes your balance, equity, total P&L, margin, free margin, margin level and leverage here. Now. Also, uh, you have the open, pending, and close options here. So this is just an example. So currently, this is the open position you have, pending positions, and the closed position. So whenever you order something, for example, you start trading, this is what you will be able to have an overview. So this uh, window is actually pretty helpful whenever you're uh, actually trading. This is where you will be able to see all the um, open positions that you have. Also, when you go to the trade uh, section here, as you can see at the very bottom, you have accounts, trade, markets, performance, and profile. Now, trade from the name itself uh, enables you to start trading. So in this case, like what I said before, we'll be using a demo account. So let's go ahead and click on our accounts here, switch to demo here, and choose our demo account. Now, in this case, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of uh, things that you can vis visit here. For example, currently, I have BTC here, but you could choose other categories like manners, exotic, popular, and a lot more. But for now, we're just going to stick to favorites here. Let's go ahead and choose BTC here. And as you can see, the graph on your uh, screen here would actually determine or show you uh, how a specific crypto is actually performing performing right now. As you can see, um, BTC is actually on a, a downtrend right now. So currently, this is the current price and the uh, things that you can do here. So first, the thing that you can do here is you can sell uh, crypto. So you can sell BTC or you can buy BTC. Now, in this case, if you want to sell something, just click on the sell option here and from here you want to determine how much you want to sell so you have lots usd or btc so if you want to uh, sell lots here like for example 0.01 lots you go ahead and determine that and just click on confirm sell so it will actually uh, confirm the sell depending on the current price of that crypto so in this case the current position right now is six 
66,280 or 70. It's actually uh, moving right now. But yeah, so you could go ahead and click on confirm sell. So whenever it actually uh, reaches that specific price, you'll be able to start selling your, your uh, BTC on that price itself. Now, also, you could go to overview here. You should be able to see overview details about that spe uh, specific trend right now on that specific crypto. You have the specifications, so that includes the trading R, the minimum volume lots, maximum volume lots, and steps, contract size, and a lot more. Now, in this case, we want to actually uh, go back here real quickly. So let's go ahead and click on cancel here. And if you want to buy, same thing, uh, the logic uh, applies to that. So in this case, you should be able to determine oh, how many lots you want to sell. Or you can change this to USDD, uh, USD or BTC here. And if you want to view the overview, specifications, and a lot more. Now, there's going to be other things that you can do here. Like, for example, if you click on the star here, it's going to be added into your favorites. You also have the option here to see what's the current positions right now. So, I have an a open position here for selling and buying here, as you can see right now. This is the order that actually plays previously. Now, also, if you want to add, like, alerts, you can just click on the alarm icon here. And you should be able to add alerts. So, whenever something or whenever a, a specific crypto actually reaches any specific uh, price, uh, your app here would actually notify you that uh, hey something changed on this specific crypto you might you might want to check that you could uh, that's a way for you a great way for you to actually uh keep be on the loop those are happening right now on a specific crypto now in this case we want to click on cancel here and you also have the instruments here so in this case uh you should be able to see a uh, sell or buy here if you want to and also, uh, there are going to be a graph so you could change here. Like, for example, if you want to change this to either bars or even uh, candles if you want to. If you're more familiar with candles, you go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, uh, you also have the option to change the current view, like the time frame for it. So, for example, if you want to view the whole 30 minutes on a specific uh, performance here, you can change this 30 minutes. You can even change to 1 hour, 15 minutes, uh, depending on how you want to view the, that data it is currently available right now. Also, you have the show charts options here, like trading signals, Asia market periods, price alerts, and precision profit and loss. Now, in this case, uh, that's how you view uh, the uh, trading window here. Now, there are also other windows you can visit here on the app itself. You also have markets. So, in the markets, you should be able to see the top movers right now. The events that is currently uh, happening right now. So, we all know that events uh, sometimes affects uh, the performance of certain cryptos. And also, the top news here if you want to read uh, those. You also have the performance here. So, this includes the summary uh, your, of your performance, uh, all your real accounts. Or, or if you want to uh, switch over to other real accounts, you, you could go ahead and do that as well. We have the X benefits as well here and if you want to view your profile you can just click on profile here and again like what i said before if you uh if you want to access the other features that is available on Exodus, you need to actually complete your profile so you go ahead and just click on prof complete profile here and just follow follow the steps for you to actually uh complete your profile now you might need to provide some ids here so make sure to have that by your side they also have the other options here, like for example, the help center, report issues, live chats, is features, legal documents. You even have the option here for virtual pro uh, private servers, uh, negative balance protection here, and swap free if you want to as well. You also have the referral, referral program here, so if you want to learn more about that, you just click on the earn a stable income by introducing clients to access. Now, in this case, you have social trading here, like for investors and for professional traders. So, if you want to learn more strategies or even uh, do uh, some more way of copy trading, you can actually copy someone or how they actually move on a specific uh, trades. But yeah, so that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.